Hi, this is Craig for Digital People Folk coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. And today I wanted to do a quick video based on a comment that was left on one of our other videos asking about pricing on Google Cloud Platform for WordPress. So today I want to do a video just on that subject. WordPress on Google Cloud Platform, real pricing breakdown and I'll give you some examples but before we go on if you like the videos and like what I'm doing and trying to uh, bring to you please like the video subscribe to the channel or even share to your friends uh, LinkedIn or any of your other social media networks so when you're looking at Google Cloud Platform a lot of you may think to go to the pricing calculator because it has estimates of how much things might cost. Problem with using this for your WordPress site is you may not actually know what goes into the technology behind having a WordPress site on Google Cloud Platform. So if you go to the marketplace which used to be called the launcher and look for different WordPress options there's quite a few usually I'm using WordPress certified by Bitnami this creates an instance for you so that you could it's really easy to launch a new WordPress site and it's configured by the company Bitnami so even when you look at this, they have an estimate price. So it's about $14 a month, but that is also adjustable and you can configure this the way that you'd like. Um, for example, this VM instant, your virtual machine instance, uh, they have a recommended configuration, but this is not the configuration that you need to go with. And then they have standard persistent disk size which is 10 gigabytes how much the cost of that is each month uh, each month and sustained use discount which is about uh, between 20 and 30 percent and then they give you a total now even though they have this instance at the G1 small I actually didn't use that so my price is different and I wanted to go into how much I actually pay and the breakdown so going into my billing report this is what I actually pay for the digital people folk WordPress blog so I do have to explain to you that I have other projects and I have uh, quite a lot of WordPress uh, instances separated into other projects but this is the view of just the digital people folk project so you can see a realistic view of what I pay and I'll explain the breakdown too um, so this is the price in Japanese yen and I have another view of what it's like in dollars so stack driver monitoring that's your logging the logging system and just a few months ago that became a service that actually takes in um, it actually cost us now it didn't cost a couple of months ago but they started to charge for it about three months ago and there is definitely a mount an amount that you have of uh, free logging I think it's something like a hundred and fifty megabytes so the reason why on digital people folk that I'm actually being charged is because I have other instances also and that amount is aggregated together so truthfully if you just have one site there is a chance that you're not charged for this stack driver monitoring next would be my compute engine and this is where my WordPress site the the virtual machine lies 
and the price for that is 495 yen um, and then there's a cost after credit which is the price that I pay and then there's cloud DNS so cloud DNS is when you configure your domain to be pointed to your instance and that's about 20 about 22 yen and I have the price breakdown also in dollars so that you could see how it would be in dollars. So for the Digital People Folk blog, I pay about $7.54 a month. Stack Driver costs me about $3.74. And Compute Engine is about uh, $4.40 with the Cloud DNS being about $0.20. Cents. And again, that's about a total with the discount of $7.54. Now, again, the stack driver, I can reduce that. Um, I, I haven't reduced that yet, but uh, I do know how to reduce that charge. So it actually just goes away completely. And to give you an overview of what other charges there could be and about how much are those charges, I wanted to give you an overview of one of my bigger projects with a lot of different instances in there. I think I, I may have five or six different instances in WordPress instances in here. So those are also micro instances and it comes out to about after credit, the compute engine about forty-one dollars. Um, the stack driver monitoring uh, does cost uh, on this, um, but I can reduce that, and I know how to. Um, maybe I'll make another video on how to do that exactly. And then there's a cloud DNS. There's quite a lot of my domains being pointed to different instances, so those are my charges per month. And then there's cloud storage. Um, on my WordPress site, I do have the images, some of the images being stored in cloud buckets separately. So the 1 yen and 29, 1.29 yen is what I pay for that. And that equals about, you know, probably like less than one cent um, a month. Then after that, there's different APIs that I may be using for my WordPress sites, such as the Google Maps API, um, which are the three Maps and Street View API, the GeoCode, and the Maps JavaScript API. And last is SynGrid. SynGrid is an option that you can find through the market marketplace for sending email, um, for sending email newsletters and controlling your emails on your instances so they definitely have a robust free tier that pretty pretty much i've been on a free tier and i don't think i'm gonna go past the free tier with the amount of emails that i sent but these are the actual costs that i pay each month hosting my site on Google Cloud Platform. Again, this view right here, uh, coming to about 4,000 yen per month, this is uh, several WordPress sites that I have. Another cost that may be included in this is there were certain instances that I didn't delete. So, I'm still charged for those instances for the space if I didn't delete them after I turned them off. So there was quite a few, I think there was at least three or four that were still in my project that I didn't delete. So please, a lot of tutorials that you that you go over will tell you to delete instances, delete and clean up anything that you are using that well that you're not using anymore um, delete it so it frees up the space and you're not charged for it at all and my my cost is actually going down uh, because of me doing a cleanup uh, the month before so please if you have any questions uh, please comment on a video, share, um, and always, if you like the video, like it, 
or subscribe to the channel that'll encourage me to create more videos for you and no data was hurt in making of this video so everyone please have a great rest of your day i'm craig signing out for digital people folk